Expect na rin natin and Claude like we mentioned mm-hmm. like pa rin ng FC's Kimi and we found out by Archangel we, saw, we mentioned kanina na yung Claude ay isa sa mga heroes na hindi mahirap tanggalin mm-hmm. sa meta just because of how strong this specific hero is and talaga nag, nag, nag pag either nakuha mo yung Claude nagpashishift bigla yung playstyle nyo sa team oh, okay. you know it's a it's a hero that Your actually kind of drives the meta that we have right now we have Kaja ban, right from Evo's PH. But Kaja, kahit sa mga pubs, eh, sa, mga, sa mga levels talaga, makikita mo, Kaja is almost one of the priority bans. Yung uh, divine judgment niya, kung gano'n siya kaya mag-pick off, kaya siya pumasok ng, kahit sa loob ng tier 1 turrets, so sobrang exposed. And uh, medyo risky kasi yun eh. Kung sa kaling ma-pick off ka ng isa, then team fight composition yung laro nyo, masasayang. Yeah. Hindi, mga, hindi, hindi, hindi nyo kaya mag-pull off yung, ano, yung yeah. team fight. I, I agree. Kapag, kapag yung comp, yung comp mo is based on, you know, 5v5 Your fights, is Kaya is the, or Kaja, yung talagang pang-pigil doon. Because of the fact na magma-minus one ka agad. Mm. Interestingly, Hellcurt ang naban ni Tarkangel. Daming na-open actually. Grok, you have the Cho, or also open. And it's gonna be up to Evos kung ano yung kanilang Evo first pick dito. Kasi mangyayari, Archangel will have back-to-back picks. Mm-hmm. And pwede sila mag-combo easily. Lunox. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Magandang Evos. Ano yan, first pick yan para sa, sa Evos PH. Since they have removed the health card sa mga counters ng Lunox, Your which team is, is uh, the ultimate of health card. Yeah. Wala siyang vision, hindi siya agad makapagsama ng second skill. So this is a very uh, good counter pick for Evos PH against Archangel. Yeah. Archangel Kufra. naman, Kufra. And uh, talaga. Tank agad yung yeah. nila. Back to back tanks from Archangel. I didn't begin and tanks to Evo's PH as much. Carry gonna be secured. Kind of answer para dun sa Grok. Mm-hmm. You know? I'm, I'm thinking that Cho. Evo's will go for carry. Leomord, but Your they went for the Cho and the carry. So Leomord, I think. The ideal na pick dito para sa Archangel. I agree, I agree. Since ano eh, since uh, carry, yes, ano siya, late game potential mas ano mataas mataas. Pero kapag pumasok ka ng pumasok sa grab, kasi yung, yung uh, grab na place that is you need to go in every single time, trap and catch the uh, MM or the marksman rather. So uh, they can go for the Leo more. Just like what you mentioned earlier, kailangan na kailangan nila para sa running gun composition. Leo more. Leo more yeah. niya. Tama. Sakto ng sakto ngayon. Bans for both teams. I think Evo's page will ban out some mage perhaps na mm-hmm. ma- mahirap na yun niya ma outplay dito si Lunox or you know defeat sa lane nito si Lunox probably somewhere around the Gushan somewhere around yung uh, Harley or even Kag for Kagura for Evo's PH and now Archangel naman I think that they should be banning out another tank parang yun yung nakikita ko dito ang idea is to whittle down yung yung Your choices ng Evo's PH in terms of tanks Gwen ang pinarioritize dito ng Evo's PH alam naman natin ay nating makakita na Gwen plus Kufra <laughs> ang sa hirap nyan ang hirap nyan so, sobrang hirap nyan with the control itself, uh, itself pati yung ang hirap nyan kasing hulihin eh papansin yeah. natin meron silang uh, Cho yes indeed kaso mahirap, mahirap naman kapag winard mo yung Way of the Dragon mo para sa Genevieve lang yeah. and uh, medyo high, high momentum dyan level 4 lang pwede agad siyang umikot so uh, that's a very picking. good ban for Evo's PH yeah. He did ban out the Thamos para sa Archangel. So now, Archangel will have the choice to go for another fighter para sa kanilang team or even a mage secure right now. And oh. interestingly, yung Harith natin ay nandito sa Harith. Now, Harith is a Your hero na sobrang, alam mo yung sobrang top priority. Pero sabi nga nila, dadating din ang point in time na ang hero ay mananerf at hindi na siya masyado mapapansin. Now, I'm thinking about Harith. I think na hindi naman siya ganun ka hina as of this moment. Because mm-hmm. Harith, Harith is a very, very strong mage as it is. Nawala lang yung stun, stun ng Zaman Force. Wow. But, I really like this a lot. Evo's PH will go for the Esmeralda plus the Minotaur. The thing with Esmeralda is, maganda siya laban sa mga heroes na maraming shields. Minotaur. And Harith is a hero na Your team is actually, king. kaya siya tumatagal sa laban is because That's of the shield. shield. Yeah. Because of the of the chrono dash and wow, I think that this is gonna be re- really interesting. The matchup 
for Evo Switch and the uh, Archangel. Pati nag-agree din ako kasi maganda yung pick dito ng Harith for uh, for Archangel since meron silang Grok. Yeah. Mas magagamit, well, other than the nerf sa, sa Zaman Force, mas maganda mo siyang gamitin sa mga choke points area. So, um, with the Grok wall, mas madali mo uh, ma-pull off yung ganong klase ng composition. That's true. And, uh, well, meron pang Leo Mord. And they need to get that one pick off. Ito nga, Hayabusa pwede, pwede siya maging Hayabusa. But they need to burst Hayabusa. this uh, Esmeralda as soon as possible. Yeah. You know, there was a time na may tinanong ako na pro player. Hindi ko nalang sasabing yung sino. Basta ano siya eh, carry player siya yung time na yun. And Hayabusa yung kanilang katapat. And I asked him, kasi parang for me, in hindsight, kaya, kaya taga ng Hayabusa ang carry. Hayabusa should be able to kill at the carry. Sabi nung pro player na yun, nag-adjust lang daw siya item sa item siya. As hindi siya, as yeah, parang hindi siya, uh, siya yung carry yan. Yeah. And he knows, natalo siya sa Hayabusa. Mm. That's why I think that's why uh, consume all of the resources of Evo's PH mga tanong, mga kaibigan. We have Evo's PH on the blue side versus Archangel our first game for our first series today. Dufen naman sa Lunox, Archie para sa Esmeralda, Boncha, Boncha para sa Minotaur, Dexter on the show and Haji for the carry. Sa abila naman you have Archangel Lusty on the ground. It's real on the Harith, Jay on the Kofra, Jeff Kitty forever sa kanyang Neo Mord and Kay Luwash. Yan, Hayabusa. Ito yung aggression na kayang gawin ng Evos uh, dito. Si Archie, again with the Esmeralda plus meron pang Minotaur. They can cut, easily cut the weight and also steal the blue buff of Archangel away from them. Habang yun yung uh, mga cores naman ng Evos PH, they will also get their blue buff. But it's all about the carry. Kano, si Tico, they do have enough tanks and also protection against this carry. Kaso mahirap dito kapag nakapag-farm na yung Hayabusa. Once oh, yeah. siyang BOD, or blade of despair kailangan lagi na mayroong plus 1 si Carrie dito. Yeah. The thing with uh, the thing with Archangel's lineup right now is pwede nga sila din mas mabilis na lumaban na gets Evo's PH. Mm -hmm. Like for even when Lunox and Esmeralda is available for Evo's PH, you don't necessarily want to fight constantly laban sa sa Kufra and sa Grok. Kasi the thing with Grok and Kufra, kung i-compare mo siya sa lineup ng Evo's PH is mas madali silang mag-engage ng mag-engage because hindi sila ultimate dependent. Mm -hmm. But if you think about Evo's PH, dependent sila sa Minot Minotaur's Minol Fury, sa Way of the Dragon. Hindi ganun tagal yung cooldown ng Way of the Dragon, pero yung Minol Fury, it is a very long cooldown ultimate, big ticket ultimate. So ang gusto ko lang sabihin dito is, parang yung sa Evo's PH, hindi sila ganun ka talas mga kalaban 5v5. Exactly. And Archangel, pwedeng-pwede sila mabal anytime. Maghihintay mo ng level 4 yan, or at least Oo. ng ultimate. So every cooldown, kailangan talaga bilang na bilang ng Evo's PH dito yung cooldown. Well, just like when you mentioned earlier, Archangel, hindi nila kailangan ng ganong klaseng uh, oras, power spike na nila ito. Pwede nila lang kunin yung turtle and then rampant gang agad mm -hmm. sa other lanes, especially for the core heroes. Pero sa top din naman, mukhang si Archie, pinapasok, pinapasok si, oh, oh, si Jeff Cutie forever, pero nakapasok siya sa Barbiel. Ang grabe yung oh. damage ni Doofin doon, tol. Akala ko makapatay siya, but I think... With the mobility, talagang mahirap, mahirap i-pressure. Nakita mo apat na heroes agad yun from Evo's PH para lang ma-push back exactly. yung Leomord from farming. Ito yung naging problema dyan. Yes, nabugaw nila yung Leomord is my top lane, pero sobrang dami na nakuha nila. Oh, not the best way of the dragon, but Dusty still gonna go down. Evo's PH prioritizing itong 4-man ganks nila, which is interesting to me. Ang mahalagang naman is to get the level 4 on Dexter, and they were able to successfully do, did that. And now, Archangel, they will lose one hero, but I think na okay pa rin sila dito sa nangyayari. Kasi nang, for Evo's PH, sobrang nagka-clump up sila dito that they might uh, struggle in terms of XP and in terms of gold mm -hmm. eventually. Kasi fine, natsicheck nila yung side lanes dito, but okay. the Harith is not. Indeed, kasi yung uh, Leomord talaga magiging priority dito. Eh. Kasi yung, yung Archangel, hindi sila... Well, they do have the gang potential with the Hayabusa. Kasi oh, dalawa yung kaya nilang huli. Nakuha niya! Nakuha niya dito yung Crab Coin. Actually, hindi pala. Haji was able to... Actually, And again, the ultimate from Jay. Mukhang makakawal ka ng skill wash. Oh, nice no. pushback. Way of the Dragon lang. Tapos hindi wala nung ganun paano. Kasi nakita nila si Hayabusa. Eh. Again, okay. you don't want to give a lot of uh, kills para sa Hayabusa ito. Kung nakaparm yan at naiwanan si Kari, medyo mahirap ang control din. And also Archangel able to take one turret no on the middle way. lane. Meron siyang over brilliance. Mga kaibigan, si Boncha naman humahawak. Oo, oh, minuwan oh, fury sa dalawa. Pero hindi pa rin sila tapos. Boncha, humabol na humahabol. But they see the Grok charging up his uh, first kill. Pero mahirap oh. na mulwaban doon. Now Rio wants to still go. Chrono dash in. Wala siyang ultimate dito but... Bochan will be forced to use the flicker at si Rio, at si Lusty actually wanna dive this not the best Uy. now yung naka-nakontra sila dito Archie but the Zaman Force is gonna be there 
Ang daming shielding masyado dito. And look at that, sabi ni Rio dito. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Pagka paggagamit ng kanyang single vision, talagang umalis na siya doon. Now, Archie is here. Rio still wants to fight. Pwede pa kasi lumama dito. Unfortunately, hindi tumama yung initiation dito ni Jay. Ang ganda. Ang ganda nung pagkaka, well, falling star mo ni Archie dito, yung ultimate ni Esmeralda. But unfortunately, wala ka anong damage. And, Mobile kasi si ano talaga eh, si, uh, si Harit eh, yun yung mahirap doon, lalo pag meron siyang Zaman Force. Yeah. And uh, nakita natin kanina, si Grok tinangkilang yung, uh, yung hits from the tower and it will be an easy gank kahit pumasok sila sa loob ng tier 1 turret sa, yeah. on the side of Evo's page, talagang kaya-kaya nilang pasukan. For Archangel, ang kanilang lamang ngayon is ang yaman ni Harit. Walang mas, siya yung mano eh, mayaman siya sa kahit sino member na Evo's page. And even then, mayaman din yung Hayabusa. So Archangel actually winning the economic battle with, of course, all the other players, but look at this. Magandang way of the Dragon onto Jay, but not enough. Now, wanna go for the third and okay. dito. Bilo Fury, kumukonekta sa tatlo, pero mapatay pa rin ni Ar dito yung Lunox. And they still one more Zaman Force. So much damage. Kahit walang stun, okay lang. Slow down pa rin kayo. At nakita nila dito si Esmeralda. Four kills for Archangel in a blink. In just a matter of seconds, I mean. Wal wala pa nga ito yung Hayabusa. Who went for high and dry mm -hmm. as emblem. Na kaya kaya mag solo pick off. Now, uh, this is a really good, by the way, this is a really good adjustment from Kiluwash. Kasi para pag nag high and dry ka na emblem, ang talagang gusto mong gawin is habulin ko nasa yung carry every time. And syempre, di, di ba, may bonus damage siya for solo mm -hmm. heroes. Yeah. This means that yung ultimate dito ni Kiluwash is gonna be really talaga. effective. Indeed. Uh, um, masakit. Pati yung hirap dun ah, Archangel talaga, kailangan lang nila mga ko na magandang positioning. Well, they do have the advantage earlier. Kasi nasa choke point nga dun eh. And dun, mag uh, dun lumalakas yung Zaman Forest, yeah. rather, uh, when it comes to the nerf. And yung timing. Si Bonjo nga naman nakapag may no one's fury, but again, wala gaano follow up eh. And si Jay, yung uh, ultimate ni Kufra, almost dalawa o tatuyata sila na stand dun sa gilid lang ng turtle area. So, malaking yeah. impact kagad yun with a nice crowd control from Kufra and also the follow up with uh, this Archangel composition. Yeah. 4.8k net worth on this Hayabusa, 3.7 for the Harith. Even then, yung Liamor natin sobrang yaman na rin for kit. And now Evo's PH, even after getting all of those early uh, early rotations, possible um, successful, actually salam pala, specifically one, natalo din sila eventually. Kasi yun nga, we mentioned na merong problema yung pag-group up agad. Now they wanna go for Dexter. Dexter wants to tank this gank. Mas maganda na lang kaysa pamuhuli yung carry. Leo, not gonna connect with the Zaman Force. But yun, yun talaga yung, ano, yung opening eh. Kung sakaling papasok lang si Kufra with his first kill, tapos once na stun na agad yung, yung target, high and dry emblem yeah. para sa Hayabusa with the ultimate talagang yun yung easiest way niya para makapag-gang yeah. and also makapag-farm. At unting-unting na lang yung momentum na hinihintay dito ng Archangel. Once he's able to get at least one more core item for uh, for Hayabusa, tingin ko go na to. Yeah. And not only that, Endless Battle is available for Kiluwash. So, a lot of true damage that can come out of this uh, Hayabusa. You would think na mat matutunaw, at na to see Archie, with all of the tankiness na meron siya, meron of the shields, but because of the true damage, Archangel can pierce through that for sure. Mm -hmm. Nako. Pero yung Evo's page na dito, they're just trying to look for a target here. Well, meron kasi lang initiation with the show, but they need to re to, well, to get really close. Kasi ang problema dito, yung uh, control, si Lasty, meron, hindi siya matatama ng, ng kahit anong crowd effects or kahit anong crowd control effects once he's near the, the wall or the tower. So, turret rather, mahirap talaga mag initiate Tahan nila ng kufra dito. Yeah. It's looking great for Evo's PH ngayon. para nahihirapan sila because kat Archangel just controlling the map right now. Talagang halos lahat ng lanes naka-shove against Evo's PH. Ayaw nilang pahingahin itong ating uh, carry who's struggling really badly. Ngayon sila pa, ng gandang ground block naman noon. Sabay nakaw, dun sabay buff. Who actually got it? Isn't sure. Mukhang nakuha pa rin naman pa rin. ng Evo's PH. Fortunately for themselves. At this point kasi, importante na rin yung mga buffs na yan eh. And... Getting another buff for their team, Archangel. Namang sila ngayon ng firepower, definitely, mm -hmm. laban sa Evo's PH. At nag din sila ng magandang positioning dito. Well, kasi yung ano yung impact talaga. Oy, mo si Ibus, mga kapatid pa nga atin, sinis nasabi natin oh, kanina no. to, eh. yung, uh, yung 1v1 potential plus the high and dry emblem para kay Hayabusa. Talagang mahihirapan, mahihirapan makataas dun si, uh, yeah. si Kari. Eh, this is the job already para sa ating Hayabusa. Hindi na siya... Hindi na kanya kailangan ng ani lumpumunta doon sa mismong 5v5 engagements or doon sa kakampi niya. Kailangan lang niyang gawin is hot the carry. Kasi yung carry as much as he's a very strong hero, 
talagang magfa-farm at magfa-farm yan. Ngayon, may punish shot. Now, wanna go for Kiluwash, but Kiluwash. One shadow ginamit dito. Minon, Fury, hindi ka ulang. Uy. Tama naman pala. Abot din yung kill. Samantala dito sa baba. We want to still go for Dufen, but Dufen activates the ultimate para makatakas. Mabawat na para sa Evo's PH. And Archangel, soon. after losing one hero, it seems like sila pa rin yung nasa Abante ngayon. Makukuha yata nila dito yung uh, ah, yeah. tier 3 turret mo. Ang makakuha pa nga yata, Ryo. Well, again, with the Chrono Dash, he's able to easily get away. O tinakita na si, De si Dexter na sa gilid na eh. So, uh, mas maganda yung safe spot na lang. Lamang na rin naman sila. Well, they're able to dish out a lot of structural damage para sa turret natin dito. But... Uh, Kasi so, tingin ko mga isang, isang hampas pa o dalawang hampas pa ng hayag oh. sa pasag na to. So iiwan na, lang, iiwan na lang taga ng Archangel yung top lane. Exactly. Eh, medyo bumagan yung pacing natin ng laro natin ngayon at 9 minutes in. But we know na yung Archangel pa rin talaga yung lamang. What they can do right now is secure yung Lord na mukhang sisimula na dito na ating Hayabusa. And at, as, I think na kaya din saloyin pa ni Hayabusa as of this moment. O, oh, tingin ko kaya rin eh. Kaya pa naman. Mm -hmm. So, ang, ang ginagawa lang ng, ano, dito, ng uh, Archangel dito is control the jungle area. Since yeah. yun yung gusto nila eh. Gusto nila lumaban sa mga choke points. Ah, tama. Uh, then occupy. Uh, choke oh, yung, ano, yung page dito. Oh, Lasty? Lasty, mo pa to? Hindi kaya ni Lasty. It might be punished. Wow, what a sidestep lang kay Lasty. Wow, that was, that was actually sexy. Para dito kay Lasty. Sabi yung sabi yung pagkakasides. Ito nga, ano eh, uh, prediction, prediction talaga. Sobrang mm -hmm. ganda ng, ano, ng movement. And, uh, well, that gave them a lot of time since Archangel were already able to get the Lord. So, ito yung opportunity na hinihintay ng Archangel para gumo. And also, mayroon ng Blade of Despair, si Jeff, Jeff Cutie, Cutie forever. So, ang sakit na talaga niyan. Oh. Okay, so Berserker's Fury available for Rio. Ako uso na build actually for Harith's right now. For the crits, them crits. And, uh, all, actually, mukhang nakuha, nasama na yung Lord dito sa my top mm -hmm. lane. It's gonna be looking hard for Evo's PH because it's so much less firepower than Archangel. They want to go for the top lane this time. Paano mag initiate Jay? Bakasan na. Bakasan na. Saan tatalon? Pagilid lang. Medyo to, nag-taunt lang. Here comes the Barbiel. Pero masyado yata malakas dito. Di sa man first minute. Fury, kumalik ka dito sa tatlo. Pero wala yata silang damage. Be ready. Ang, hindi ready ang Evo's PH dito. Now, Jeff Kitty forever. Kilo was actually goes down. At ito na nga si nag-ulit kay Haji. Naku po na wow. double kill pa. Ni Ayabusa dito. Hindi sila nag-share. At doon, dahil doon si Kilo was. We'll be able to run away. The Bonchon is very, very low. Pero namamating na yung Hayabusa. Finally, from the Lulox. Damage. But it seems like Archangel, they will just take down the base. And they will. Nakuha na nga dito ng Archangel ang Game 1. Ang lakas talaga nung ano, nung pagkakuha ng pagkakuha ng Blade of Despair ni Hayabusa, kumat agad siya ng lane. Sige, kaya nyo namang apat dyan sa middle lane, sa top lane. Push nyo yan. Then I will try to pick off uh, anyone. Well, who will go or who will try to defend this tier 3 turret on the bottom lane. Yeah. Ang ganda ng ginawa doon. Blade of Despair lang, yung Despair na, ano niya, na passive niya, or rather yung uh, kasama sa item. Passive, 50%, passive. Yeah, 50% additional damage, kap or rather 25% kapag 50% HP yeah. na lang. So, ang sakit talaga no, with the ultimate. Yeah. Ang masasabi well, ko lang dito for Archangel is maganda yung kanilang pag... Uh, pag a draft in a way. Mm -hmm. Yung sequence of drafting nila. Hindi natin nakita yung Harif na pinili. It's a first...